Welcome back, Collective. Thank you guys very much for joining me again. Uh, let's jump into your tarot read. We'll see what message you guys need to hear the most from Spirit today. Spirit, what does the Collective need to hear the most? What's the most beneficial message that you can bring forward for the Collective? Got a jeweled web. Lost in space, needing direction. I don't know if you guys have been asking for advice from your guides lately. Asking for a bit of direction. It's... I do get like you've hit this wall does represent some sort of obstacle that you've come in you've what is it it's like something you're trying to achieve and it's like almost like a, the doors are closing or the opportunities aren't there there's always some roadblock there and you're asking where do i go from here what do i do what am i supposed to do and wanting that guidance uh, your guides are trying to talk to you too. They're telling you um, meditational help or being able to quiet your mind will help you to receive their messages more. I think you got so much going on and and there's worry and I think there's frustration because of the obstacles that you're hitting and things aren't working. Yeah, you have you have family members on the other side who are looking out for you. Hmm. Everything happens for a reason though. We have that jeweled web. It represents connectivity. So like even the obstacles that you're facing are coming forward for a specific reason. It is to help you on your path. It's to help guide you. It's to help direct you. Well, I don't know what some of these other ones are. Spirit, can you give me some more here? Perfect storm. Herald of change. So we do have change coming forward. What is this change coming forward? I still want to know about Dragon's Horde and a tidy house. Everything being connected again, connected again. Being looked after by spirit, protecting the future. There's that closing door. Something is being closed for a reason. This obstacle that you're hitting is, is coming forward for a reason. And your ancestors are taking part in it. And it is for your protection. They're trying to help you protect your... They're trying to guide you. It's like It's almost like you feel like you're asking for guidance and you're not hearing them. But within the things that are taking place around you actually is your guidance. I got told to look at the bottom of the deck. It's the gathering around the power of community. You have spirit looking out for you right now. When I said they're protecting you against something. Where are we going here? This is the tarot deck we need. I want to know what this is all about for you guys. Spirit, can you please clarify this read for the collective? What are you protecting them against? Lovers. Um, there's somebody or some opportunity that's supposed to come into your life. But it's it's like it has to come in a certain time. And that's why other doors aren't opening for you. Because if those doors opened or if you forced your way down that path, you would not be in a position to accept the gift that's actually supposed to come your way. It's like there is something better for you and more suited for you out there. So that's why whatever it is that's going on right now is not working out or feels like it's not working out. Ooh, those ones, but then that one wanted to go too. Yeah, set that deck down. That's a hot mess. Getting told you need to trust in the process. And don't run. It's like don't run from, from one thing to the next. 
What does that mean, spirit, though? You're supposed to be patient is what I get told. The spirit still hasn't told me what this opportunity is that you're after or what it is you're looking for. But spirit's saying you need to be patient about it. And like, don't, don't try and force it down those certain avenues that aren't working. Don't try and force it in any other aspects. Like, be patient, be patient. Because I feel like there's temptation to, to be able to, to try and force something or force a partnership in some way, shape, or form. Or try and force an opportunity. But you're supposed to wait for your golden opportunity. And you're going to know it's yours when it comes. Because it's just going to fit and it's going to feel right. It's like spirit bringing you the thing that finally you're supposed to have. But there has to be the space available for it. That's what they keep harping on me about. For some of you, this might even be love and romance. And waiting, waiting for sort of the right person to come along. And spirit is telling you to be patient. That it takes time for that person to be in a space where they're ready for the two of you to come together and where you're ready for it too. And in the meantime, to be okay with being independent. For those of you, and this is feeling like some a goal that you're working towards that's not coming together, perhaps even a career, you're getting told to be patient and wait for the right opportunity. The right opportunity is coming. I got told with that four of pentacles. I keep getting told, um, hold out, hold out. And that's part of being patient too. And I kept getting with the devil card, the page of pentacles, like a tempting offer. But something small and something that isn't quite, it's not the golden opportunity, whatever it is. It's kind of like you have to settle. And that speaks too to where it's, for those of you, this is like romance. And looking for love, don't settle. There's a big message here for whoever this is supposed to resonate with. Whatever it is you're working towards, do not settle. Be patient. The right opportunity will come. Other things have to line up behind the scenes that you're not aware of before it can come forward into your life. But Spirit's saying the space needs to be there for it. So don't clutter up the space with things that don't belong. It's patience. And I get with that emperor too, it's like being okay with, not entirely like with where you're at if you're working towards a goal, but being okay with understanding that the right opportunity will come when it's meant to come and having faith in the process. I feel in that emperor a lot of really calm and cool energy and confidence and it's like have confidence in yourself have confidence in the universe that things will come together the way that they're meant to and in their own time spirit can you please elaborate more for the collective what this message is all about today well oh, there we go i got told that chunk and those guys wanted to come forward on that one and the second one Ten of Cups, that's your happiness. That is what you're building towards, whether it's romance or career in your life. The Empress, it takes time to grow things. It takes time to evolve. Uh, it takes time to build abundance. That gift from the universe is coming. You will have your time of being recognized and like your time of shining. I get that with the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, that, that golden opportunity from the universe, and then it's your time to shine. I see frustration. And that three of swords. And in the six of swords, I see like almost thinking about walking away or giving up from this path. And you're being encouraged not to do that either. Don't give up. Queen of swords. Yeah, and the queen of swords is someone, I see sometimes she's emotionally cool. But I, would that, what I feel from her in this read is just somebody who doesn't let their emotions run away with them. And I really see her 
thinking things through. And that's part of what it, you're getting told with the deep quiet card. And to be able to like meditate, be able to relax, be able to look within. And that's where you find the Zen of the Emperor and the confidence that comes with him too. Is that acceptance. Things will happen when they're meant to happen. This path that I'm on is a journey over time. It's not an overnight success. It's something that happens over a period of time. And I do see change, right? Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. We're closing one door. We're opening another. The wheel is starting to turn. The Seven of Pentacles. Something's growing. I keep getting in the Five of Pentacles not to... Not to worry, not to get so frustrated, not to get so disappointed, not to give up, not to get negative, not to get down. Something is growing. You just don't see it or you're not aware of it because it's something bigger and it's something beyond you. And not to focus on the negatives either. Oh, the Five of Cups is telling me that. Don't focus on the negatives because it's a waste of your time too, to keep focusing on the positives. And keep, keep focusing on having hope and having faith. And sometimes we don't always see the path ahead of us. And we don't see what's going to come our way. So we have to have that trust in the universe. We can't be heavy with worry like the Nine of Swords. Right? Even that Queen of Cups, she's got that Zen thing going on. See? She's got the emotional Zen happening. You're getting told to take after the Queen of Cups there too. That Zen, when you feel that coming over you, you feel the worry, you feel the anxiety, or you feel like giving up and you're focusing on the negative, you got to find that Queen of Cups Zen and accept that we don't always get to see what's coming our way. And we have to have faith, movement and change. And the Three of Wands. So your change is coming. The opportunity that you're looking for is coming. Whether this is meeting that right person or whether this is that job opportunity that you've been looking for. It's like this is coming together. This opportunity will be coming to you. Things are just getting organized in the background that you're not aware of. So be patient and wait for the right opportunity. Don't force things that don't fit. And don't waste your energy worrying. Stay positive. Have that faith. And don't give up. Don't give up. Your time is coming. Your gift is coming. The universe is bringing forward what you need. Yeah, death and rebirth. There's your change. A new chapter. One of your lessons. I'll tell you too. One of your lessons for this new chapter tarot saying is to learn to not worry, is to learn to not doubt, is to learn to not let your emotions carry you away. It's to learn that balance and to trust in the choices that you're making and to trust in the universe too. I feel like this ties into maybe things from the past too, things that didn't work out. And why you're more quick to, to worry or more quick to doubt yourself. Because perhaps you've gone through things in your past where things haven't worked out. So do you feel like the past comes back in and it comes back in words and it comes back in emotions like that self-talk. And then you start to doubt yourself. It throws your balance off. Yeah, you got to let that stuff go. Four of Swords is about healing. Let that past peace go and look forward to this future. Not choose Zen. Choose the emotional Zen. Trust in the universe. I would love to know what opportunity is coming towards you guys. And who this resonates with. Because you have something coming. You have your ancestors on the other side of the veil. Who are watching over you. Who are giving you signs whether you realize it or not. And who are working their butts off to bring this opportunity your way. To connect you with the right opportunity. So like I said, it's like it's like doors are closing. And you can't figure out why it's not working. And you're asking for a sign. And you're asking for a sign. What should you do? 
but the closing doors are actually the sign that that's not the opportunity. That's not the opportunity, but you're getting told to be patient because that opportunity is absolutely coming. It's on its way. Like I said, you have, you have allies on the other side of the veil who are working hard to try and bring this forward for you. But you have to be patient. Keep the space open. Have confidence in yourself, confidence in the universe, in your guides, and in your path, guys. That's a super positive read. What a beautiful read, guys. You're getting all sorts of wonderful encouragement and confirmation from your guides and the universe here in Tarot. Alrighty, guys. Have a great day.